You have known each other from the first glance on the 24th of April, 2015. 834 days later, you are engaged to be married. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you've been making commitments in an informal way. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another. You know all those things that we promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Remember this moment in time. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. Abby, I believe in you. And I believe in us as a couple. With my whole heart, I take you as my wife, and I promise you, I will always dream with you, celebrate you, and be beside you through whatever our lives may bring. I promise to hold your hand every night and never let us lose our spark. For you are my person, my love, and my life, today and always. Samuel, the babe, my inspiration, the better half of me and my soulmate. Today, surrounded by the people that we love, I choose you to be my husband. never forget this is a once in a lifetime kind of love that we are lucky enough to have found. Nearly four years ago you captured my heart by being exactly who you are today. The most loving, hard-working, charismatic, needy, <laughs> <laughs> kind and gorgeous person I've ever known. We are a team and we will continue to make life one big adventure. Sam and Abby, you have declared your commitment in the presence of your witnesses, your family and friends here today. It is therefore with enormous pleasure that I declare you are now legally joined together in marriage as husband and wife. Please Thank you. kiss them. <laughs> I've always felt extremely proud of Abby. She's hardworking, caring, loyal, and loving. The quality of hers I probably admire the most is her determination not to settle for anything less than perfection. Well. <laughs> she slips from time to time. <laughs> Sab. <laughs> Abby's husband, what can I say? No. Tall, not bad looking. He does have an obsession with mirrors, so we have taken them all away. <laughs> it's worth bearing in mind that neither of you will ever be perfect, but together you can be.
So, can you believe it? She actually said, I do. Sitting beside me is officially Mrs. Jackson. So, Abby, seeing you walk down the aisle today was one of life's special moments for me. You look absolutely stunning, and I'm so proud to now be your husband. To those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Callum, and I make up one half the best man act up today with Andrew. The way I'm going to do this speech is work my way through the letters of the alphabet. So starting with A, A is for Ashfield School, so this is actually where we first met. B, boxer shorts. Now, if anybody's struggling for wedding gifts, can you please get Sam some new underwear? I'm not entirely sure what he does with his, but I can guarantee today he's either going commando, or wearing a pair of mine, or wearing a pair from 1990 with eight holes in them that look like fishnet tights. <laughs> Jay, jokes. Now let's be fair, Sam does have his good points. And one of those is he can always take a joke. Mind you, so can Abby. She's taken Sam. Honestly, over the moon as his best friend that he's met someone as perfect for him as Abby. But I know both from seeing you as a couple and now husband and wife today that you mean the absolute world to him. So I'd just like to wish everyone a very happy and prosperous new year and raise a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Jackson. Mr. Mr. Jackson. 